Because the first question is about your family. First you say your name, then uh, continue about your family. Amy Hossein. Uh, my mother and father were born in the United States. Uh, my father was born in Minnesota, one of the states. And my mother was born in, uh, I think, Colorado, another state. And uh, they met in California, the city that I'm, that I'm in right now. My uh, dad had just finished uh, his military service in the army during the war. And my mom was here in California to go to college. And uh, her brother introduced them together and they got married soon after that. Um, their first child out of where there's three sisters all together. And um, my mom went to school during the time that uh, I was growing up. And she graduated with her master's degree in um, uh, the study of aging the study of old people and, and how to take care of them. Um, my dad has a degree, a bachelor's degree in fine arts. And uh, so my whole life growing up was about art, 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 all the time, drawing. And he would not give us coloring books. He would make us, uh, give us plain paper and uh, just draw with crayons and pencils. And he would sit with us on his lap and we would draw and do calligraphy and all kinds of things like that. Both my parents were raised Christian, uh, but both of them pretty much left Christianity, not with any anger, but uh, they just didn't find value in it. So as I was growing up, uh, we didn't practice Christianity. We, we celebrated Christian holidays, uh, Christmas and Easter and those things, but, uh, but God was not in my life growing up. My grandparents, uh, you know, tried to teach us and tried to help us be Christian. Uh, and uh, we participated with friends and everything in people's churches. So I grew up mostly Christian. Uh, but I never really felt very Christian. And uh, many people tried to, you know, baptize me or something like that. Finally, my grandparents, they, they brought me somewhere and, and all of the grandkids together, we all took baptism. And at that time, I, I took my baptism, but I never felt that in my heart. I just was like, just for my grandparents, for them to be happy. And uh, the only reason because they kept telling me that to be a Christian, I have to believe that in the Trinity. And this idea, I never believed just from my own heart. I just never believed that. And so that's what always prevented me from being the Christian or in my heart. So I was pretty much without, you know, didn't even believe in God really until maybe my late teens and 20s. And uh, somewhere in college time, I, I actually um, had a very like important, it felt very important dream that God came and put uh, something in my hands, uh, like his heart or something like that. And it was it impacted me quite a lot. And a fr Christian friend of mine said, I think that means that you're going to be Christian. And that dream was very um, important to me. Um, but I still at that point didn't think it meant to be Christian. It was something else. And, uh, but at that time, without Allah in my life, without God in my life, uh, I, I don't think I was on a very good path, you know. Um, I didn't have any guidelines, and I had the society telling me how I should be, you know, how I should dress, how I should talk, how I should act, what I should do, and what is acceptable outside in society was acceptable to me, because that was what seems normal. In the ambience in that period, in that uh, time, what was the California? Okay. Uh, Torrance, um, Torrance is a city in California, it's part of Los Angeles. And it's a suburb, which means that there's a lot of homes and not too many businesses. Uh, there was a, when I was growing up and still, there's a lot of Asians, Japanese and Korean and Chinese, Vietnamese, mostly it was Japanese at that time. So a lot of my classmates were, were Japanese and white and Hispanic and everything else. Uh, so I grew up uh, with understanding some Japanese culture 
Uh, one of my good friends was from Japan, her parents, and uh, I used to spend a lot of time with them. Another good friend of mine was Mexican. And in this, in this city, in Los Angeles, there's, I think, every country in the whole world is represented here. And this is such a blessing for us. And as a child, you don't even realize it. But get to, getting to go to somebody's home, they have Mexican food in their home, speaking Spanish. Going to your Japanese friend's home, they're speaking Japanese, giving you Japanese snacks. And, and, and observing, taking the shoes off and, and going in their home. And just all these things make uh, living here such a blessing to understand uh, different cultures. And they also learned from me, my culture, you know, American, white American culture. Um, so that was, a, that was a very interesting part of growing up in, in Torrance, which doesn't exist everywhere in the world. Uh, some memories growing up. My mom was very, very, very frugal, practical woman. And my, my dad was just opposite. And uh, loved to spend money eating outside and new clothes and, and those things. And he's still like that. And my mom is still like that. And uh, alhamdulillah, it, it gave me some balance to see both sides. Uh, I tend to be more like my mom, very frugal. And um, so I, I remember some stories where my dad would take us out to dinner and he'd spend a lot of money. And then my mom would uh, grow vegetables in the garden so we could save some money. <laughs> so we <laughs> and uh, she would buy shoes. Like my dad would make some money. She would take the check so he doesn't spend it and buy us shoes for the whole year so he couldn't <laughs> spend the money. <laughs> uh, so these kind of things I grew up with. Um, my dad was an artist. You want me to stop? No. Okay. Uh, my dad wa worked at an aerospace company. And at that time, there was no computers. So he did artwork to, for brochures to uh, show the engines and all that. And he had security clearance. He couldn't uh, talk about his work at home. Um, eventually, he left this job and he uh, started playing poker. This is gambling. He started gambling for, uh, for his living, for a profession. So he stopped that work and he's, done, he's still doing that to this day. He's 70-something years old. And this is how he earns his money from, from uh, playing this poker game. And uh, this created a lot of tension at home with my, with my mom. And eventually, uh, f because of this and other issues, they, they ended up divorcing. And uh, alhamdulillah, both my parents, they remarried. And because of that, I have, a, I have one half brother. And I also have a stepbrother. Um, so this expanded my, my knowledge of the world, you know, how other people live. Uh, my my stepmom is from Thailand, and she's Buddhist. Her her whole family is Buddhist, and my my stepdad um, has passed away since then uh, from cancer. Uh, he was very good to my mom. Uh, he was Catholic and a practicing Catholic, and uh, he was the first person in my family that I knew that was very close to me that that I understood that he really believes in God. And uh, even though I didn't believe in his, uh, I didn't understand Catholicism to be the correct way, but I respected his, his um, heart in that. He passed away from skin cancer when I was pregnant with my second daughter. So she never met him, but my first daughter met him. And uh, there's a sad story, that will make me cry, so I don't know if I will say it, but <laughs> Of, um, of when he passed away. Then my mom got uh, remarried again. So she's, uh, alhamdulillah, I just don't know how Allah blesses her. She doesn't have to be alone and uh, all that. So um, now that she's remarried, she's been, she's been with him for a while. Alhamdulillah, he's from Germany.
sahibisin sen Sen kanun koyar Sen hükmedersin Zalimlere ceza veren Mazlumlara mükafat veren sen Canım Allah'ım El Muksit ismini çok seviyorum Benim canım Allah'ım El Muksit ismini çok seviyorum Benim canım Allah'ım Ya Muksit, ya En güzeli sen yarattın, en güzel hükmedensin Adaletin ne güzel, benim canım Allah'ım Zalimlere ceza veren, mazlumlara mükafat veren sen Canım Allah'ım, el muksit ismini çok seviyorum Benim canım Allah'ım El Muksit ismini çok seviyorum Benim canım Allah'ım Ya Muksit, ya Muksit Ya Muksit, ya Muksit Ya Muksit, ya